Section 3 Understanding the Scale, Stretch, and Move tools The scale function allows you to change the scale of a single CAD element or even a selection of CAD elements. The Stretch tool allows you to stretch a single CAD element or a selection of CAD elements. The Move tool allows you to move a single CAD element or a section of CAD elements as well. Also covered will be the CAD Spell Check feature. To illustrate the Scale tool, I'm going to use the Rectangle tool in CAD. I'm going to draw a rectangle and we'll make this rectangle one and a half inches by three inches tall. We'll make another one exactly the same size. This rectangle will also be one and a half inches wide and three inches tall. Now we'll go back to use the select tool and what we'll do is we'll click on highlight the, the item while holding down the control key and you'll see that the rectangle becomes highlighted with a dotted line and you'll see that you have a grab handle at each side of the item. You'll also have the ability to grab it at the corner and stretch it to scale it. So if we grab it by the corner here, you'll notice that on the left hand side of the screen that the horizontal and vertical scale is changing evenly. And I can actually come over here to the left hand side and change that to a scale of 1, which keeps it the same size. If I change it to a scale of 2, that will double the size. A scale of 1.5 will make it one half bigger. So that's how the scale tool works. You can also scale multiple items at the same time. So let's simply get rid of these. We'll delete these two rectangles and I'll just draw a series of lines. Now with these three lines, I can use the Select tool and I can hold down the Control key and then I could drag a box around them and I have the same functionality. I could pick them up by the corner. I can actually scale them by that corner. Now when I scale it, you'll notice again that the horizontal and vertical scale on the left hand side of the screen stays the same. So I'm scaling it the same amount. You can change those values. You could go to the spot where it says keep aspect ratio where it is set to yes and we could change that to no by unchecking it. And that would allow me to stretch it without regard to whether I'm going to keep it the same. So that's how you scale a group of items as you select them all together. We'll undo that so we could do this a different way. I can highlight one item and then I can hold down the control key and select the other item and then it will select all three of these. So I'm able to select the items for scale by draw, drawing a box around the item or holding down the control key while I select each of the items that I want to change. I can also click on an individual item, hold down the control key, and then click on the item and then I have again the ability to scale it down here at the ends. Let's zoom in on that and take a look. I could pick it up and actually stretch it and make it longer and shorten it. So that's the scale tool. So now we're going to observe how the stretch tool functions. We'll draw a series of lines So I have a random pattern here of simple lines. I can go back to my select tool and at this point I can hold down the control key 
and click on one of the lines. You'll notice that when you hold down the control key, the line takes on a particular appearance with the dotted line. And now when I have two items selected, you can see that the end of the line has got like a little box at the end of it. And now there's like a rectangular dotted outline that indicates both items are selected. If I hold down the control key again and select each item that I want, I can select all of these lines and then I can stretch this. Now this will stretch all of this together in whichever axis that I decide to stretch it in. I can even grab it at the corners and scale it down. I could pick it up by whichever corner I want and I can even snap it to one of my snap points. Let's see here we've got a coordinate right here at the end of this entity or at the center of this sheet of paper somewhere. So we have the ability to position this, pick it up, move it, stretch it, scale it in whichever axis we want to. We can't pick a single line at a time by holding down the control key and then clicking on it to select it and then we can stretch that particular line. Or as you've already seen we can select individual lines. Let's say if I want this line only and this line then I can stretch just those two lines. I can use my control key. Let's undo this and do it one more time. Hold down the control key on the keyboard select that line and then this line right here. You'll notice that this line and the other horizontal line are indicated as being selected. So now if I grab this I can stretch it and only those two lines will stretch. I can also drag a box around all of the lines at a single time and that same box will give me the same functionality. So that is the stretch tool. The move tool is very similar to the scale tool. We're going to try a slightly different concept. I'm going to draw multiple items. I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to draw a circle and then I'm going to draw several lines. Now the lines are going to be connected at various points here. So I have a little slight pattern here. Now if I want to move just simply this line and the additional vertical lines that I have drawn, I would hold down the control key and I would click on each line that I want to move individually. You'll notice that it has drawn a box around all of them automatically and at this point I could pick them up and move all of them away from the rectangle and the circle. So let's undo that. Let's review it again. It would be too difficult for me to draw a box around all of that and just get the specific components that I want. So it would be easier to just hold down the control key, select the individual items that I want. Now even though there is a box around all those, you'll notice that some of these lines do not appear as selected. So I have to hold down the control key and select them. You'll see that they are now indicated as being selected. So you could tell that everything is selected that I want to move and at this point I can scale it, I can stretch it, or I can simply pick it up and move it. So I can move that entire section of lines all by themselves. That is how the move tool functions.